Recently, I've been enjoying big screen in VR. I've been using it to watch masterpiece movies and old TV shows with friends from back in California. Oh, everyone's gone. I guess no one wanted to watch Tammy and the T-Rex with me. Problem is, half the time, the only copy of this content I have is from a DVD that I ripped at some godforsaken bitrate in 2006. Let's just say video compression has come a long way since then. So here's my dilemma. Horrible old video files displayed on the equivalent of a hundred foot screen. They look kind of horrible. But NVIDIA might have a solution. In a recent driver update, they enabled what they call RTX Video Enhancement. It uses the tensor cores on your GPU to upscale and enhance any video played in a Chromium-based browser, right now just Chrome and Edge. That includes YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, and in my case, Plex. I've never been particularly impressed with video upscalers. I know Topaz is used in the actual TV industry to improve old shows. I wonder how well Nvidia's implementation compares to a actual product used by professionals. First, we have to get Nvidia's tech working. Step one is to own a 30 or 40 series GPU. Apparently, 20 series support is coming, but not yet. Open the Nvidia control panel and check adjust video settings for the RTX video enhancement option. Check the box and you're done. One is lower quality, four is higher quality. Now, any video played in Edge or Chrome will be automatically upscaled to your display's native resolution. In this case, I'm going to be taking 480p DVD video and playing it on a 2160p display. Since this does use GPU resources, it's best to leave it off if you tend to watch slash listen to videos and play games at the same time. It's not an enormous performance hit on my 3080 or 4080, but it is there. And real games can always use more frames. The difference is pretty subtle. It works best when it's seeing large areas of color. It can't extract fine details from a busy scene. And in cases like that, it looks more like a basic sharpening filter than higher resolution video. In my testing, it generally doesn't make old live action or photorealistic content look much better. Here in the Ballad of Big Al, it's made the trees look more saturated and blocky and less realistic. The footage you feed it is very important though. If I fed it some 900 megabit raw video from my camera, it's not gonna be able to touch it. That's why I'm using old DVDs. 720 by 480 is a pretty tiny resolution by today's standards, and the horrible compression caused by mid-2000s encoding to fit on an iPod is really hard to ignore. I found it works brilliantly on animated content, clearing up the crud you get from high levels of compression and just neatening it up slightly. It's not perfect, of course, but I think it is worth turning on just to make H.264 compression less noticeable. I am still less convinced by live action though. Well, what about Topaz then? First off, it costs $300, so that's just off the table for most people. I'm using the trial version, hence the big watermark. Personally, I'd rather spend $300 on a, you know, full video edit suite, or even put it towards a better graphics card. Regardless, I was pretty impressed with the still image version of Topaz, so video should be a cinch, right? Well, it's more complex than that. Firstly, this is an extremely GPU heavy program. Upscaling from 480p to 2160p again, I was looking at a timer in the hours for feature length movies and hour long TV episodes using my edit PC. However, I decided to try running it on my ARC A750 so I could actually use my edit PC for other things. And to my shock, instead of measuring in seconds per frame like on the 4080, the ARC was getting over five frames per second. Yes, you heard me right. A $250 GPU from Intel is demolishing a $1,400 GPU from Nvidia in a productivity benchmark. If Arc Battle Mage, or whatever the third gen is going to be called, becomes the go-to for productivity, I'll eat, I don't know, a pizza or something. I don't want to risk too much with that promise. Some things worked brilliantly in Topaz. Brave Little Toaster looks very nice when upscaled, though some shots look better using the Proteus model, while others look better using Thea. I can't really see a pattern there, and there's no easy solution. Treasure Planet, on the other hand, showed some horrendous blurry shapes among the finer details. There must be a way to fiddle with the settings and get a better image out of Topaz. I tried using Proteus and it was hideous. Thea is better, but it's still not amazing. Live action content remains extremely difficult to get right. This old episode of Top Gear might just be too blurry and too crappy to upscale. It seems to have taken compression artifacts and enhanced them like they were part of the video. If you're a professional Topaz operator, please let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments. 
Now the question of power use always comes up. Yes, using the tensor cores on your RTX graphics card uses power. But if you are really worried about that, I think you should probably be using a low power ARM device to watch video, like your phone or a Chromecast. If you're already using a semi-truck to tow a U-Haul trailer by watching Twitch on your RTX 4090, I don't think those few extra watts are really worth worrying about. Topaz, on the other hand, has power use that we really should talk about. So let's do the maths. Upscaling a 90 minute 242398 FPS movie, basically a feature film, from 480p to 4K on my Intel Arc, uses 260 watts from the wall. So let's do the maths here. Seconds times frames is 5400 multiplied by 24, which is 129,600. So 129,600 divided by 5 FPS, that's the number of frames it can process per second, means it takes 25,920 seconds to render. 25,920 times 0.26 kilowatts, which is 260 watts, is 6,739 kilowatt seconds. Divide that by 360 to get hours, that's 1.872 kilowatt hours. That's a significant amount of power, equivalent to running your microwave for over an hour. And that doesn't account for the fact that while it's running, you basically can't do anything else on the PC. The CPU and the GPU are both maxed out. For an end user, I'm gonna call it Topaz probably isn't worth using. In conclusion, Nvidia's upscaler isn't a magic bullet, but it is very cool. I recommend turning it on and trying it out. I mean, if you already have the GPU, all you gotta do is click a button. Might as well, right? I don't watch anime. I prefer, you know, real cinema. But I bet it would work wonders on that bootleg VHS tape of Bible Black you keep around for some reason. I'll see you next time.